The local government election in River State has been done, dusted, and concluded. Candidates loyal to Governor Sim Fubara won all their seats as a local government chairman in River State. You need to understand that the candidate loyal to Governor Sim Fubara did not contest under PDP because PDP did not participate in that election. They contested under All People's Party, APP. River State Independent Electoral Commission Chairman Right Justice Adolphus Enebele announced the result of APP winning all the whole local government seat in River State. Interesting. I want you to listen to him. I'll be back. I, Honorable Justice Adolphus Enebele, retired in my capacity as the Chairman, Chief Electoral Commissioner of the River State Independent Electoral Commission, and pursuant to the stand provisions or the River State Independent Electoral Law Number no. 2 or 2018 and all other laws enabling me in that behalf. Do hereby make declaration of results for the chairmanship elections into the 23 local government councils of River State. After painstaking collation of results at the close of pay poll by our team of officials regarding the lo local government council elections, Conducted this day, the 5th of October 2024, the following candidates, having scored majority of lawful or valid votes, cast in two-thirds of the respective wards comprising their respective local government areas or river state, are hereby returned as elected chairmen or chairwomen. They are, one, Abua Odwa. Ruben Vincent Obo, APP, Ahuda East, Esu Rizi Chibudom Hezekiah, APP, Ahuda West, Iporo Ieko, APP, Akukutoro, Tonye Briggs Oniide, APP, Andone, Lazarus Gote Integwile, APP, Asaritoro, Engineer Dr. Sule Amakere, APP, Boni Anengi Baraswa, Wakeups, APP, Degema, Dr. Agrie M. Harry, APP, Eleme Brian A. E. Gokba, APP, Emoha Omereji Shinedu David, APP. In respect of a che, the Commission in its wisdom stood down its result because of the expansive land there comprised of 19 west collation going want to be sure of correct collation before we announce and so for a chair local government it is too done to the announcement of results or the collection of results for the councillors who now come to gokana dumie monday belbari app equere abos is very easy app Kana, Martin Sumibo, APP, Obiako, Ihumo, Kemi Zinom, Chijoke, APP, Obwebe Mandone, Umejiru, Mwabu Homa, Isaac, APP, Ogubolo, Oforibeka Ishmael, APP, Okrika, Achese Igwe, APP, Omuma, Promise Reginald, APP, Opobon Koro, Enyada, Clifford Kukigam, APP, Oibo, Okere Gift, APP, Portacot, Iche Mate, Ezebungo, Prince Charles, APP, and Thai, DK, Martin, Matthew Felix, APP. Most of you have not heard about APP before, and it's surprisingly to see that APP is winning every election in the River State. Wow, there is nothing that cannot happen as long as Nigerian politics is consigned. You are all aware of the political crisis in River State, which has rocked the state for a very long time. In Yesowike and his political godson, similar to Fubara, they've been at loggerhead at each other. And Fubara is trying to use his executive power to ensure that he controls the political structure in River State. Yesowike is doing everything possible to also control the political structure in River State. 
But then, Fubara has the executive power, he has all the instrumentality of state to use against Inyeso Wike. But one thing Fubara has done, he has restrained himself from attacking Inyeso Wike, from attacking everything he has. But all Fubara wants is to ensure that he take away the political structure from Inyeso Wike because Inyeso Wike controls the political structure in River State. And he has succeeded in doing that. He took away the state house of assembly from Inyeso Wike and then the local government. You all need to understand how important the local government is to Yeso Wiki. Before the crisis involving Yeso Wiki and Afubara came to the fore, all the 23 local government chairmen in River State were loyal to Yeso Wiki. These are his boys that he selected and settled with the local government chairmanship position. They are all loyal to Yeso Wiki and they were working against Simila Afubara. With these men on ground, Yeso Wike has his structure on ground in River State. He can do whatever thing he wants to do with these men on ground. But what Fubara did, Fubara dissolved them after their tenure expired and ensured that he selected his own men that are loyal to him and appointed them as caretaker chairman pending when election will be conducted in the LGS in River State. But then, PDP did not participate in that election. Do that any attempt to conduct an LGA election in River State will result to Fubara's loyalists being the LGA chairman in that state. They did not want that to happen. They wanted a vacuum so that Nyeso Wike can still have his political structure in River State in his hand. But then Fubara was very wise. He moved and conducted that election. Even though Inyeso Wike used the federal government might, the police, to try to intimidate Fubara from conducting that election. And at this point, I must say kudos to Fubara. Fubara stood his ground. This is how to fight someone that thinks he's stubborn. This is how to fight someone that thinks he has money. Your money cannot compete with someone that has executive power. Fubara has not even been using his power against Wiki. If Fubara wants to use his power against Yeso Wiki, Yeso Wiki will not step his foot in River State anymore. But he has been trading with caution and ensure that all he wants is to take away the political structure from Yeso Wiki. You need to understand the importance of this political structure Yeso Wiki is fighting for. This is his bargaining chip. 2027 general election is fast approaching. Nyeso Wike has boasted that this election is a walkover, that they've already won that election. He needs River State. He needs a structure in River State to deliver River State to Tinibu. River State is his bargaining chip. If River State is taken away from him, it means everything he has labored for, everything he has toyed for politically has been taken away from him. If River State is taken away from him, it means that he does not have any more leverage ahead of the 2027 general election. There will be no bargaining chip for him anymore. Of course, it was River State that made him to become an FCT minister in Tinibu's administration despite being in PDP. It's the same River State. Now, Fubara has taken away River State from him. I am very happy to what has happened today. Kudos to Similar Fubara. Kudos to his supporters. Kudos to everyone that stood by their governor in River State and ensured that justice fairness is done in River State. Kudos to them for clipping wicked wings. Oh, it's a very pleasant sight. I saw video of his supporters protesting in River State. Who would have thought that Nyeso Wike, who reigned supreme in River State, who would have thought that Nyeso Wike, who was a terror in River State, who would have thought that Nyeso Wike, who controlled all the structure in River State, who now become an opposition in River State. This is what politics can do to you if you are not humble. This is what politics can do to you if you allow it to get to your head. Now, Nyeso Wike has become politically irrelevant in River State. He can no longer have any say again in River State because all his foot soldiers, all his structures has been taken away from him and it is just a matter of time before Bola Ahmed Tinibu will discard him. With that river state, Bola Ahmed Tinibu will not have anything to do with Inyeso Wike anymore. Unless he will keep working over time to ensure that he completely destroyed the PDP. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.